Anna Scott, and um, <laughs> my title is Anna Scott Saves the World One Piece of Produce at a Time. Hi, Anna Scott. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this idea. Publix. Huh? Publix. Yeah, Publix. Um, anyways, so this idea came to me um, not when I was working at Publix, but I used to work at Publix um, my sophomore year of high school, and I noticed how much stuff got wasted, and I was like, that's really not that good. So I was thinking, and then I thought of my idea throughout the semester. And what I was thinking is I wanted to collect like old produce, well not old, but um, the produce that wasn't good, but you could still eat it, but they had to throw it away. And any other food that was left over from that day, so any like bakery goods. And um, these are some facts about how much um, grocery stores um, throw out. So it's $15 billion worth of fruits and vegetables each year. Um, on an average, supermarkets dump um, $2,300 worth of out-of-date products each day. And the entire U.S. food system wastes 40% of good produce. So, yeah, that's really not that good. So. Um, I moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin this year from Living QS, and uh, my mom and I, before I left for Woolman, volunteered at St. Catherine's Food Pantry every Saturday, and they serve around 2,500 people each year, and they serve um, residents around the Milwaukee area, and it's a very good um, so then, I this semester, I called um, kind of a family friend who owns Sendix Food Markets in Whitefish Bay, Milwaukee, and she also has a food cart in the Milwaukee Public Market, and um, I had a conversation with her, and she has five locations, and um, the food pantry runs every Saturday, so um, I'm going to have a spot person um, at each location, and I'm going to call them on Wednesday and see if they have any extra food for me. And if they do, then I can pick it up either Friday or Thursday. And this is a very sustainable thing because there's a ton of volunteers that already have food pickups. So if I can't do it, they can have a volunteer or um, I mean, you can drive, hopefully, um, <laughs> to these places. So that's my project. But some things that were really challenging for me during this whole process was it was kind of slow to get started because I um, just moved to Milwaukee and I was only there for the summer so I didn't really know what the community needed so that was really hard to figure out what to start with so I kind of like pretended some things at the beginning um, but I'm really happy about this final product and I hope it works out and I'm excited to implement it when